Hello friends and fellow monkey algae enthusiasts. We're back with the next part of our Monkey Island pay playthrough. We're playing Secret of Monkey Island EGA. This is the 16 color version. This is the original version that was released. We are already on the titular Monkey Island. So we're going to jump right back into it. All right, let's check it out. Alright, now we can go get our rowboat and oars. So, when you checked it out in the original interpreter, did you have a save file set in that area, or did you uh, just use the debug codes to get there? Save file. Looks like um, Legend of MI, the website, has added the save files that they were looking for on the Discord previously. I wasn't able to. Uh, oh, wait, no, they're on my Raspberry Pi. That would have been awkward to get off of it. Use a rope with strong branch. This is very much a pixel hunt. No. So many times when I've been helping people, like, I'm like, you guys have to play Monkey Island. This is an awesome game. This is one area where they're like, why can't I find what I'm doing? And I have to help them every time. Is uh, finding the stumps and the thing. Like, this one, and particularly in this version, it's not particularly well uh, highlighted. I wonder if there was at one point in time more done, like, in this direction. It'd be cool if there was just a random point in the catacombs, like an emergency exit or whatever. Instead of it just kicking you out there, like, it would expel you to this area and you'd just climb back out. They figured, well, I mean, it, it could have been like that at one point. Again, this is random off the head, top of the head thing, but they're like, what's the point when we can just make them go back to the main, main screen anyway? Use oars with rope. Like, realistically, there's not a ton of puzzles on Monkey Island itself. It's a lot of paddling. The only ever really deal with these screens ever definitely and you know what I think that's probably like geographically what they're trying to represent there was because that crack's got to be somewhere the giant chasm right and obviously some things have switched around because the volcano's active now and and uh, somehow the, the uh, primitive art on the the uh, plateau, the vista there became a pachinko machine, which is strange. Wasn't expecting that. Shit, not permanent. It's not even there anymore. And it was the ship you 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 owned, but I just sunk it so leave me alone would you time to piss off some candles this door appears to be locked Big and empty. I imagine at one point we had to do more with this thing here too. Some sort of puzzle where you like give them stuff. And hey look, it's Murray. It's not Murray, but that that could be Murray as far as I'm concerned. Hi Murray. He doesn't talk yet. He hasn't been like voodoo enchanted. But that's fine. Ah, 
That's the giant stone head you were talking about. Okay. That would be very cool. Well, lately we've been trying to stay away from it. Hi, fanatic. You just the little skull has this wonderful grin on it that I like to think, which makes it look, it makes it different to me than other. Other ones. Go ahead. Oh, wait, no, we're not. We're not skipping the three headed monkey joke. We don't get to do that. Hey. <laughs> Hey, cool. When I EGA'd my BGA sprite design for for my three-headed monkey, I picked the right colors. Nice. Hmm. Are you a three headed monkey? Ha! We're not gonna fall for fall for that little trick again. <sighs> nah, I don't got anything yet. I need this banana to get this monkey to follow me. No, I have nothing. Yeah, these very much give me a feeling of of um, Zach and Lumera. No, you got. You've got side feet. You got more of the Zach Ash esque uh, walk style. You know, not not the stick man and the hmm. Yeah, that was they're probably ones that got made before they all got pulled off to Last Crusade and whatnot. Picture of skull. No, totally, totally. Loom is definitely uh, the evolution, the, the definitely the in between between that and the more like the more asymmetric stance. We are cannibals. I always just bug them over and over again. I have to get the weird, the weird door. That's the only one. Yeah, okay, I do it like that. Yeah, totally gotta get the guy, the, the door gag. I wonder if the door's made by the the Newcomb Alarms Company. Go ahead and meet me, see if I care. Oh. It was boarded so that didn't work. <laughs> I really have to try to play more of the Infocom games. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to do all that on my next run, but yeah, totally. 
no. I don't want to give you anything. Let me just. Aha. Uh -huh. Escape. Those are some big ass chains. They go straight through the walls. Don't know what the bigger mystery. How you keep getting out, or why you keep coming back. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Just a bit. I think that's an understatement. Guy, <laughs> got giant fucking chains. Yeah, because the door keeps on getting more impressive uh, in its labeling. Go ahead. See if I care. I mean, the size... Is he... Is that Red Skull? The size of the mouth on that dude, he could probably just take a big chunk out of it. And I want to say it's just like a Mardi Gras, uh, you know, mask, a giant head mask. What the heck? I'm sorry, I have to check that out. My apologies, guys. I'll be right back. There was just uh, a loud thump. Seems to be okay. Right. That's a serious door, man. He's armed. That'd be hilarious if somebody modded it so you could, could open the door, but only if you had the Maniac Mansion copy protection. I'm not never being super sold on the music that they chose for the CD version for the the Cannibal Village. So sort of an all-over-the-place track. <laughs> My boy's crazy. Oh. Yet another note. Okay, quite a pile of memos. A whole lot of memos. From Yander Hem and Hall, attorneys at law. <laughs> oh, the TV stopped. One second. Okay, Google, continue watching on Media Room TV. Good. Big one with the talk. I I have set up a fun setting on my Google for this room, which maybe if I remember, I'll try to throw on it yet. In the odd chance. I don't feel like fighting with my lighting afterwards. Like these ones they left in, right? Because this makes sense. It's that you don't have to apply that the cannibals did any of this 
or maybe if they did it was from back in the day, but there's a bunch of ghost pirates that are living here at the moment, so, you know, even with the friendlier uh, cannibals that they have, I see why they left this part in, right? Um, because the cut scene, like the, the cut room leading up to a cannibal village, which was very similar in its uh, depictions and whatnot. So, I mean, it could still work if it's implied that the, the cannibals did this before their turn to, to vegetarianism. Yeah, we need, a, we need a monkey first. We need a monkey first. Okay, just skip a monkey. Go get a monkey. No, no, they're, they're, they're debating whether or not to eat uh, uh, Guybrush, and they probably will just end up eating Guybrush at one point eventually. Execute the one command I gave him forever. Follow me, little gray dot. You signify a monkey as well. is where my brother got stuck. He didn't, didn't, didn't decide to try that and uh, got frustrated and quit the game. And so I pulled the nose and then beat the game and told him how to finish it. And that drove him nuts because he was eight years older than me at the time. I shall call you Jojo. Yeah, that is not Jojo, uh, uh, we got Loom over here, we got, uh, Sour Nights. Do we know what any of these other guys may be? Like, who's this? Who, who? Sour Nights, we got Bobbin, and, you know, maybe some of these guys are from, like, Night Trap or something. Well, I mean, then we got Bobbin up here, too. Well, okay. That, to me, that's totally Bobbin. Um, don't see anything that I can call Indiana Jones. Island overworld theme can just live in my head forever. Um, I love this track. You hate this music? Aw, I love this. No, this, it, it gets stuck in my head. And, uh... Alright, well, I'm gonna give you your own stuff back. Uh, 
but let's give him the wimpy little idol. This is impressive. I never noticed that one. The metal, like mine. Says made by Lemonhead. Yeah, I guess they really only cut it down to it says made like Lemonhead, just like one of mine, and get rid of the other. Like mine, like mine. Hmm. That's odd. Because, like, CD versions were supposed to be, yeah, it, to them it was like unlimited space. <laughs> yeah, so it's weird that there was um, cuts unrelated to, like, referencing discs and stuff like that. Also, I, I had head cannon. The differences between this banana picker and Escape from Monkey Island's banana picker um, as an upgrade that happened at some point. Because wow, that that the the MI4 banana picker is an impressive bit of technology. That would make sense as well. Hmm, I wonder. That's something I want to check, because they, you know, they in injected the the spiffy close up in the Ultimate Talkie Edition. I wonder if they put it reinserted the Disc Twenty Two joke. If not, they totally should. That's not an Ultimate Talk. That's not an Ultimate Edition of anything. And I get it. There's no vocals to play there. Okay, I'll accept text. We've all played Beneath the Steel Sky. Shit, you know. That was an unnecessary pot shot at Beneath the Steel Sky that I, when I first played it, I, I just had every third chunk of dialogue not actually playing any voice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It, it, it's just my personal experience with the game the first time I played it. It didn't get the voice to work. Yo, totally it was. It totally was. There are better examples of that, I'm sure, like uh, the Discworld games, where sometimes there's just no actual dialogue for that particular line. Great games. And in those cases, they're saving us because there's way too much spoken dialogue in that game. But... See, that is the joke. And yes, Herman mentions at one point that it's a monkey, that it's a giant Q-tip or whatever. But you, if you didn't pick up on that, and you come here to this, you're like, oh my god, it's a giant Q-tip, and then that, that's the joke. That's weird. That's so weird. No wax. No, they had to get rid of the wax. It was too gross in this fancy new high color presentation. Oh, Mark Bickley, yeah. Or just them leaning too heavily on gradients. Can't do anything here until I get some of you from coming here yet. Yeah. So turn around and went back into the village. The game doesn't need me to have seen this to get there set myself up for more paddling.
Oh, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? Uh, I'm looking for somebody. We're the only people living on this Montero. <laughs> I never noticed that. They're now friendly natives. Nice. That's okay. The people I'm looking for are in civilized. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Can you see the ghost pirate killer truck and his cadaverous crew? I mean, I still don't think Herman is civilized. <laughs> this guy's got a little town. He's got a wall. They use framing in their build materials. Are those street lights? <laughs> no, they're probably skulls. Yeah. Very rare root. Like there's only one in existence. And yet then all root beer just works <laughs> from that point. <laughs> the chef came in here and stole your root? What a cat. Where is he hiding? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of cats. I was playing King's Quest VI the other day, and the pawn shop uh, guy is the same voice as King Andre from uh, Curse of Monkey Island, or at least sounds exactly the same as him. And I couldn't help but be, because the the pawn shop owner is is a kind hearted man and but king ha andre is not at all it dave Fenway? ah me in the walking dead season one hmm. it's very very characteristic voice it's hard to miss and uh uh yeah it was weird because to me he's more king andre right so it's like prince alexander and so Really? What happened? Health department shut you down? Oh, it's excellent. It's excellent. There, there's something to be said about a good bassy voice. And now, for some reason, because we're talking about that, Red Skull here is now in King Andre's voice in my head. Ude uye avhe avhe atme avhe ide adekomske. How do you say your name? We can at least tell him what the hat does. Hmm. What's attached to a neck netiquette? Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. I mentioned previously that I used to head cannon, um, that the navigator was, uh, Uh, Bishop Mandible's head post loom after Steve Purcell made it fly off into the distance. Again, my head cannon would never work in any sort of verifiable form. Uh, but yeah, let's give him a little bit.
what what is the MI2 joke about that? Also now post Thimbleweed Park. Um Ah, yes. Yes, that would that would make sense. And I wonder if his name is Sep. But but he has no arm. He's not missing an eye. But I guess he has a necklace of eyeballs that has various gaps on it. Unless they applied it. That could be, he could have found one of those. Oh, poor Don Mitchell, it's almost lunch. Good luck. They were armed and ready to, no, they're not armed. Head of the navigator, neck bracelet. And that's how you know that you're supposed to get that necklace at some point. So they bother, if you pick, you get the head of the navigator, you get two items when you get that. But yeah, post them a weed part now, of course, he is Seth the Navigator. <laughs> so, um, I wonder what Seth is short for. Doesn't have to be the same thing, no, but I mean. Oh, okay, well that's cool. Nice. That is a definite backer perk. It's like, okay, so the head of the navigator is officially named after you now. Fill up dangerous devices is a backer thing too. That explains that, okay. Man, I always had a feeling in hell there would be mushrooms. And if you hate mushrooms, you hate mushrooms. My fiance hates mushrooms. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree for that, okay? I missed that. It, it bums me out that I didn't, that I wasn't in a position to even be aware that the Thimbleweed part, uh, There's 250 Kickstarter bucks had. I just made. Pardon me? <laughs> There's 250 bucks I just made. Nice. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You're awesome. You're incredible. Pardon me? Oh, you're playing Monkey Island? Yeah. Monkey Island. Yeah. 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 Yeah.